Hi, thanks for tuning in. I am Ambarish Tarte, a Mumbai-based Microsoft Certified Professional, and this video on PowerPoint is about the Insert Zoom feature available in the latest version of PowerPoint, which is PowerPoint 2019 or Office 365 PowerPoint. I've got a presentation here which speaks about Employee Development Program, and let's see how the Insert Zoom feature helps. First, I click on the Insert tab. I go on to the Zoom feature, and then I choose Summary Zoom. When I do that, it offers me all my slides. I will now apply a tick mark on the slides that I feel are the beginning slides of the various sections. So let's say that I want to divide this presentation in such a way that the second slide becomes my first section's first slide. Then maybe I want to have a separate section for training sessions and assessments. So I tick mark on the training sessions, which now becomes the first slide of that second section. And let's also have a third section here, which is return on investment and this slide number eight here about overcoming the challenges. So I tick mark on the seventh slide as well. And let's also tick mark on the slide number nine, which is the last slide, which is the thank you slide. So what I've done so far is I have divided this entire presentation into four sections. You can see four tick marks applied, right? So there are four sections now created. That's it. I can hit insert and I'm done. PowerPoint automatically divides them into multiple sections. There's this default section here, the first slide. Then it automatically inserted this slide here, which is called summary section, just one slide. And then I go down, you can see these three slides are in the section called training need identification. These two slides are in the second section called training sessions. And then the last section, which is return on investment and the uh, and the challenges faced. How did we overcome the challenges faced? And finally, there is this section four, which is the thank you section. Now, when I'm in the full screen mode, so let's go to this summary section here, right? And then go to the full screen mode. I can use my mouse and click on this slideshow here, or I can hit shift F5, shift function F5 in some laptops. All right, now I've got these four sections that I can see. While I'm presenting, if someone directly asks me about this return on investment, I can click on this return on investment. It takes me to the first slide where we have a graph. And then when I press enter or mouse click or space bar or arrow, I can see the second slide, which is how did we overcome the challenges. And then when I press enter again, it does not finish off the presentation. It brings me back to that summary section slide. From there, I can go on to another section. Let, let me jump into this training sessions section. Uh-huh, the first slide, enter, and then the assessments, enter again, back to the summary section slide. So this way, I can decide to jump into any section within my PowerPoint. I can also escape to go back to the normal mode. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you like this feature. Have a great one.